Okay, uh, thanks for joining us for our um, training on Medicare, Medicap plans for Regents and Providence. Uh, both carriers have good um, products here and kind of unique uh, to their own uh, uh, coverage that makes them a pretty competitive and something you're going to want to look at when you're doing med stuff. Now, I know a lot of us do Medicare Advantage plans, and that's okay, um, but you may come across people who either don't have a Medicare Advantage plan available in their area, or, you know, maybe just that, uh, that sort of, um, that sort of uh, policy or plan uh, looks, looks, uh, appealing to them because they want the attractiveness of the of the coverage. So of the two that we're going to do uh, today, we're doing Regents and Providence. I'm going to start with the Regents uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon. Now this is the Medicare links they offer. There's a lot on here. Uh, you could come down and go to Medicare Supplement if you want to download some forms. Um, I've already got those open, so we'll go directly to that. Uh, there's the producer center, which I'll, I'll circle back around and do that um, and show you how uh, that works. And then there's other um, uh, uh, tabs that will connect to the other products they have, broker training, uh, if you need to get a hold of somebody, uh, Regent supports there. Most of the time you're gonna use the uh, Pearl um, to enroll people. Uh, there is a paper app. Um, you can do it by paper if you need to, um, but you can uh, most of the time do it online. And so, so this is, let's go kind of over the uh, product itself with Regents. Um, there are some uh, advantages to Regents. Um, the first is that what plans they offer. They're gonna offer the A, which everybody offers, right? And we don't really sell because it doesn't cover anything. Um, G, uh, they offer a K and an N, but they also offer C and F. So if you have somebody that's, you know, 68, um, coming off of a group plan maybe, or moving into the area and they're eligible still for plan F, you can run a plan F on them uh, for that. Okay, so it covers everything. Now the rates um, are, uh, if you look at them, so what we're looking at here, we got plan A, we've got plan C, F, G, K, and N. Uh, for, for training purposes, let's look at just G for now because you know those are, that's most likely the plan moving forward that people are gonna get into. These are female rates, so they split it, it, split it up with gender. Um, and then there's non, smoker and smoker rates to all attached here in one column. The age is listed on the left. So if they're under 65, you can still use this rate. And then they're 65 all the way down. Now, um, again, the CNF are only eligible for those that are prior to uh, January 1st, um, 2020. Now, the rate itself is not going to be super competitive. Uh, there are some plans out there, Cigna's one, uh, that may offer a, a, an individual rate that's lower than that. Um, however, as you can see in this paragraph here, um, you do get a discount. So your rates may change at your renewal rate. Rates are not guaranteed uh, to increase for 12 months. So they're locked in uh, for at least 12 months, even if they have a rate change you may receive a premium discount of $45 if you qualify for the household discount. And so that $45 brings this down to 132 for a female uh, non-smoker, and that's pretty competitive. That's you know, gonna be right there along, uh, along the lines of some of the lower, lowest uh, premiums in the market for that. So what do you do to qualify? You must reside with a spouse or domestic partner of any age. So as long as they're married, then they qualify for uh, that rate. They don't have to be on the plan themselves. Uh, they don't even have to be married. They just have to be a domestic partner, can be of any age. If you have, or you could be residing with at least one 
but no more than three adults up over the age of 60. So if you're with your girlfriend, you're not married, but she's over um, 60 or uh, 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 a boyfriend over 60, then you still qualify for the household discount. If they're under 60, um, maybe you have, uh, I just had this come up with a under 65 person, obviously the, the uh, he's getting his, his girlfriend was <laughs> under 60, so they didn't qualify for, for that. Uh, now it says one to three, you can't be over three, so you can't be in like a foster home, they have foster homes for people that are all over 65, uh, and you know, that situation would not qualify. But if they do live with somebody um, uh, just over 60, then they qualify and that bring, that gets a $45 uh, off of their premium. Now, the other thing I wanna point out, as you can see, there's no rate increase for uh, the plan until you reach age 68, all right? So that's a great feature to have. You've, you, you're not going to have, uh, you know, you can get into Cigna or maybe Mutual of Omaha, but every year at 66, 67, it's going to go up. Uh, this year, you may be paying maybe a little bit more in the, uh, that first year, but since the rate doesn't go up for another four years, by the end of that four years span, you're probably still uh, 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 have a lower premium on top of that. Here are the mail rates, you know, basically the same. Uh, and they've got the plan G, you got the non-smoker smoker. It is individualized with uh, gender specific. So male is a little bit more than females. Um, you can, again, they, they can qualify for the household discount as well. And that does bring it down to $45 less than that. So that, that brings it down to about 150, which is about the market rate, very competitive from that, from that standpoint. Again, it doesn't have any increase until you reach 68. Um, and, and then it starts going up every year after that, okay? So some pretty good stuff there. Um, it's not gonna be the most competitive if they don't have the household discount. That's where uh, it might come in, you know, it may be specific to people that have that. But I have had people enroll uh, without the household discount just because they like Regents. So if that's the case, you know, and they wanna stick with the Regents because that's who their, their plan is through originally, then you can, you know, sign them up. Some other unique features, they do offer gym memberships. A silver and fit program is offered uh, with the plan. Um, they also offer uh, our Regents uh, advice uh, hotline, 24 seven nurse, nurse line. And then you also have a Regents Advantage discount program. Um, I should have, don't have that uh, tab pulled up. Um, but you can get various discounts on various things, stuff to uh, uh, pet insurance, to um, over-the-counter items, to uh, discounts at, uh, uh, as hearing aids, uh, chiropractics, massage therapies. It's different than the Medicare Advantage where you may have a set copay. These are discounts, um, but it is included. There's no additional cost for it. Um, and they just can utilize that as a, as a discount. So it, it just provides a little bit more of value to the product. Um, how much do, are they gonna use it? Well, it would just depend on that person and what they need needs are, but it's a discount program that offers some savings on some health related products for that. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the uh, uh, here's the paper app. I won't go through this. You can do a paper app. But most of the time we're going to do online. So let me go and go into the Perl. So you just log in to whatever that, that your Perl is. You type in your zip code. And uh, I'm not going to go all the way through this. You can skip the extra help because this is for med subs. We're not doing drugs. They would need a drug plan in addition to that if they wanted to. Um, uh, I get that. So we'll just say, just kind of throw in some dates here. You put in their gender, whether they've tobacco use, um, and whether or not they had uh, a disability. You hit submit, and then you choose the plan. So plan G, we'll choose apply now. 
And now you go into the notice, you can go through this checklist with the, the client. If you're dealing with the client in person, you can do it right here. I'm just gonna uh, make a, a, some false stuff here just to show you kind of how you can do it. We won't save this, so it won't go to the, uh, uh, it won't get submitted. Tobacco question, you hit next, uh, you put in their address, right? Nothing, nothing new here. Everything's already populated. Rest if you need a if you need a PO box, because they don't get mail at their physical address, you can put a PO box um, and do it that way. State the zip code and hit next. Okay. Now you go into the Medicare number and I'm just going to use the old number just for training purposes. Um, oops. And we're going to say the effective date is going to be May of this year. And so we'll go into that. It's going to ask you some few questions. Did you turn 65 in the last six months? It's like, no, um, we be turning, but did you enroll? We'll say yes. We just got on the, onto that. Uh, Medicare Part B, um, because maybe we're retiring. Um, the answer, do you have any state Medicaid? Most likely it's no. Um, have you recently lost medical assistance? No. Um, are you on a Medicare Advantage plan? This person was no. If it's yes, you put yes. Do they have a med another Medigap? Put no for this training purposes. Um, and if you have other coverage, you could put like group coverage. Uh, but let's just put no for now. Now, the health statements here, uh, typically if you um, uh, don't need to answer the health questions, you can skip this or, or you can just put no and on all the questions and they'll figure it out on their end uh, uh, once you submit the application. Here's the health step and you answered yes to one of the questions which we didn't do. Therefore, you may need to answer some additional questions or continue to the payment uh, step. So directly went to the payment because we're not uh, doing any additional uh, questions. Uh, is the billing address different? We'll say no. Um, and if they want to do paper billing, you can just hit next. EFT, you can fill out their bank info there. We don't have any of that, so I'm just going to put uh, a monthly bill. But you can say, uh, you know, you go through this with the client, depending on the timing of your effective date, your first premium may cover multiple months. Um, if more than one month's premium is due to the first draft, do you authorize this? And you say yes, you check the checking or savings, you then type in the bank. Um, then you put in the routing and account number and the name on the account, and then you have them sign their name by just typing it in. Okay, so pretty basic there. We're going to say uh, no, though, for this. <coughs> and then hit next. And this is where the household discount is. So again, you may receive premium discount if you qualify for the household discount, qualify if you reside with a with a domestic partner or spouse of any age, or you currently reside in at least one or two, uh, but no more than three other adults who are age 60 or older, list the individual. So if it's a, a sibling, maybe that they live with and they're 60 and they're 65, uh, you know, they would, they would uh, work. So you would just put uh, um, sister, put in their date of birth. So we could say domestic partner or sibling, right? Uh, hit next. And then it comes up to additional benefits. Now, one of the unique features that Regents offers is they do offer coverage for dental vision and hearing. Okay, and if you want to look up the provider, they have links here where you can uh, click on those and it'll take them to the provider. You can put in your dentist and, uh, and it'll see if they're in network or not. So let's take a closer look at that. So 
they have a dental vision and hearing benefits rider. Not every carrier has this. So this is nice if they want this. Uh, is it a great rider? It's really not that great uh, coverage for the amount of money that you pay. But if it's somebody, you know, they're in a Medigap already, you know, money's probably not an issue, um, you know, because they're affording a higher premium. And so they, if they want the coverage, then this is a great way to access it. So it's $44 a month. There is a $100 deductible, but it's not on preventative or diagnostic services, only on major services. There is a maximum of $750, so it doesn't go very far. Uh, but again, it does provide some coverage. It's 100% for cleanings, x-rays, exams, and diagnostics exams. And then 80% uh, after the deductible, so after you pay the $100, you only pay 20% for fillings, original oral surgery, uh, endodontics, and periodontics. It is an, a PPO, so you can go in and out of network, so you can see the difference there. So they, even if their dentist isn't in network, you can still utilize this. You're not going to get much savings on it, though. You're not going to get the, the in network discount that they get. So your benefit, your 750, won't go very far out of network. But it does allow you to, to have your own dentist if you want. Now there is a six month waiting period for the uh, fillings, oral surgeries, endodontics, and periodontics, and the crowns, implants, bridges, and dentures. Another thing that is of note here is most don't most dental options don't cover implants. This one does. You know, seven fifty is not going to go very far on a on a you know five thousand dollar implant, but you do have some coverage there, right? A little is better than none. Uh, vision is also included. No deductible on the vision. Hundred percent for the exam. 100% on the uh, uh, lenses, bifocals, trifocals, right? Um, and then $100 for frames. Or if you wanna get contacts the next year, you could use $100 towards frames on that. And then hearing aids are also included in the plan. There's a $45 uh, uh, exam. And then through true hearing, you can get uh, two hearing options there, two hearing aids. Now, if somebody's already on the plan, but they later want to, uh, maybe they uh, have uh, the sibling was 59, and a year later they've turned 60, and now they'd be eligible for the household discount. There is a, a form where you can fill that out uh, as long as they meet the requirements and submit that, and the rate would be adjusted uh, accordingly to, uh, to uh, uh, for them. Okay, so that's how you do that, and then you hit next. And then you go into uh, uh, your information. Have you sold any policies previously? List those here. You put your phone number and contact info. Um, your, they would, uh, I always have them click here uh, themselves and then type in their, their own name. Uh, and then you can uh, hit submit. And that would, uh, uh, that goes for the, that enters the policy. If you want to do it, you can, as you can see here, they have a send, send for signature. So if you want to send it to them by email, you can send, you go through the whole application, send it to them via email. They go into their email, open it up and um, sign their name by typing in uh, where they're needed to go and then submit the application and it goes in for processing. So pretty easy process, kind of walks you right through it. Oh, one other thing, if they set up the automatic uh, uh, billing for EFT, you do get $2 off of uh, the uh, premium there. So that would bring it down to $130 for a female non-smoker with a household discount. Very competitive uh, at that rate. Any questions? Okay, so now we are going to go into Providence and... So Providence has uh, their own med set. Uh, one thing that the Providence does require, the med set is a different contract. So you do need to contract with, uh, to, for their med sets as well as their Medicare Advantage. They're two separate contracts. 
So if you're interested in that, contact me and I'll, I'll get the contracting link sent out to you. Regents, you can get, you can get both. Uh, and you also get individual plans for ACA if you wanted to, wanted to do that. You're also available to sell all that stuff too. Now, on the um, uh, uh, Providence, um, they offer, let's go, okay, so they offer, here's their rates for 2022. Again, we're not going to do plan A. They only offer plans G and N. So these came out, they came out uh, March of last year. So they came out after the January of 2020. So they don't have any plan F. So if you're looking for a plan F, you're not gonna be able to get it through uh, Providence. These are people moving forward. Uh, so we're looking at the plan G and plan N. They also have female and male rates. However, as you can see, it's the same. Uh, now, it, they may change that in the future, uh, but as of this year, they're paying the same rate for male and female. So that's a big advantage. You know, as, as we looked at the Regents one, their male rates were about $20 more than the female. So if you have a male, you can get a, a lower rate with this. Now, this is non-smoking and with the household discount. Their household discount is about 25%. Now, there are some... Um, uh, uh, quoting tools, Kellogg's got one, the CSG actuarial, they all have them, but I would recommend that you look at the rates sheet here. This is the most accurate uh, rate. Some of those other uh, quoting tools don't, uh, you, you can kind of get screwed up with, with that because you got to make sure that you're on the right one. So again, uh, with the household discount, um, you can uh, get a, a much lower rate. The rate doesn't increase until you hit 69 now. So you have five years of just no rate increase locked in for the 12 months. And you can see the different ages that are listed here. And then as we go down, this is no smoking and no household discount. So this would be, uh, they don't smoke, but they don't have a household discount. And so you can see the difference in the house and in the rate. So if they don't live with somebody, we'll go over the, the household discount. Uh, it's very similar to Regents though. Um, then you, you know, it's maybe not the best uh, a premium wise. So you may wanna look at something else, maybe a Cigna or AARP or whatnot um, for that. And this would be the smoking rates. Um, now, as you can see, what's interesting is this, this, the smoking rate uh, here's the non-smoking, no household, and the smoking with the household is about the same uh, rate. So that's interesting. And then the smoking with no household discount, you can see it's much, much higher, right? Okay. All right. Uh, some of the other things with uh, Providence, you can go to their, uh, to their, uh, a site and they have different, you get the rating sheet. If you want to look at the actual policy outline of coverage, you can do that as well. Um, and then if you want to look at just their Medicare enrollment, kind of what they offer, they also have a 24 seven nurse hotline included. They also have true hearing uh, discounts on hearing aids, much like regions. And they also have the silver and fit, uh, much like Regents too. So you get a gym membership, you're available to hearing aids. And then you do get mom's meals. The mom's meals, you get them at a discount. Uh, so if you qualify for mom's meals, you can get uh, meals delivered to you at a discount rate. It's not free like uh, on some Medicare Advantage plans, but you can get it on uh, a uh, discount. So those are some unique features to them, some common features, but some are unique as well. Now, unfortunately, uh, Providence does not have the online setup for the Med Medicare supplement. So you can't go to their Pearl and, and do it online as of today. Now, I've been told that they're you know, gonna be adding that. They had it on last year. Uh, but here it is, April, and it's still not on there. So we'll see. So you may have to do a paper app uh, if you want to do a Providence policy, right? 
this is a fillable form so you could if you could you could download it and just type in everything if you wanted to and, and then print it off and have it signed it does need a wet signature so you do need to print it off and have it sign it and you just basically fill out the information uh you know tobacco 12 have they used anything in the last 12 months if they were a tobacco user but they quit five years ago you can put no on the sense non-tobacco um and then you put the Medicare information in here, are both A and B active, right? And then what plan, either G or N, you're not gonna do A, you're gonna do either G or N. And then the effective date of when it's gonna start, um, some similar questions, did you turn 65 in the last six months? Will you be turning 65 in the next six months? Um, did you enroll in the last six months, right? Fill out that information. In most cases, <laughs> not going to have to do a um you're not going to have to do a uh, uh health questions if they automatically qualify for that um uh, and so you know you you can skip these if they have a guarantee issue which is you know at 65 or coming off of a group plan or if they move or uh the birthday Right, the Oregon birthday rule allows you to change uh, 30 days from your birthday. So if you're on a Medicare uh, Medicare supplement already, you can go from G to G or G down to N, right? And you can do that. But if for some reason you do have to go through medical and writing, you can do, go through and answer the questions. Uh, activities daily living's on there and go through that. You just basically read it, right? How long have you been generally active? 15, 30 months, 30 minutes a day, 30 to minutes to an hour a day, more than an hour. You just, you just basically read the questions to the client and um, or have them go through it, fill it out themselves. Uh, it's going to ask the conditions, you know, any of these. If they have a yes to these, then they're going to be denied. So, um, if you if you do get one of those, then you may want to wait till they have a guarantee issue uh, to, to come back and, and redo the application. Uh, Medicare Advantage plan. If this was their first time on the Medicare Advantage plan, they have a guarantee issue in that, that trial period for the first 12 months, right? If you have any questions on that, let me know and, and we can kind of go over that specifically. Now we get down here to uh, pay the bill. You can either choose monthly bill or the EFT. Um, and there's an EFT form that goes with this, but here's the household discount. Household discount off your monthly premium may be available if you are married and live with a domestic partner of any age and reside at the same physical address. So now it's any age, doesn't matter if they're married, doesn't matter how old the person is, they, if they're married and live with that person, they are approved for the household discount, which is a, a pretty good game changer because now you get it down to like 132 and that's usually the lowest rate amongst a uh, plan G. Um, or have you resided with at least one, but no more than three adults in the last 12 months at the same physical address? Could be a girlfriend, could be sister, brother, sibling, right? Could even just be a friend, um, as long as you reside with them, uh, that's great. Again, you can't be in a foster home where there's like um, you know, multiple uh, people living in the same address. That doesn't qualify. You just fill out their information, what the relationship is, and then they sign too. So you will need the signature of the household uh, um, uh, member as well to get qualified for that. Um, just your basic uh, Medicare statements here, verifications, authorizations, and then um, they print their name, sign it, and date it. And then you're going to submit it into uh, Providence. And you can either fax it in, um, or you can mail it in, uh, or you can scan it and email it in. Uh, the best way to probably do is fax it um, to do it that way. That's probably the easiest. The most secure way is to email it. Unfortunately, Providence being a smaller company, you may not have a lot of that stuff uh, um, uh, put up. So you have to like send it to a third party encryption service so that it's secure. And then you do that, I have to do that this month 
um, on one of these applications and I'd send it securely to them. They process it uh, and give it to Providence for processing later. You do need to fill out the replacement notice if they're coming on, if, they're, if it's the birthday rule or if they're coming off of a group plan, you know, why are they replacing their, that policy? So you need to fill this out and then there's signatures required. For that, you fill out your agent name and your ready number. And then here is the EFT form. If you chose that, um, there is no $2 off. Uh, like you did in Regents, you just get the EFT, you fill out the bank information, the routing number, account number, and then you're done. So that's Providence uh, uh, in there. Uh, so those are the, the two types of, of plans. You can see they're both similar in a lot of aspects, but they also have some unique features that, that like, Providence doesn't offer a dental vision and hearing. You could, we have those standalone plans through Aetna Senior Supplements or Medco. Um, so if they were interested in one of those, you could sell one of those to them. Um, and they're pretty competitive to what the Regents plan was there. Um, uh, as you can, uh, as if they were interested in that. And then the other thing is that, that, you know, then you would go into the prescription drugs. Do they need a prescription drug plan or are they like the VA um, and they get the, the prescriptions through the VA, that would be okay. Otherwise they'll need a, a, a standalone prescription drug plan. Uh, Providence doesn't offer those, uh, but you can go on to uh, the Medicare center and um, uh, download it uh, uh, or go through the Medicare center and, and look at the prescription drug plans that way. So whole another whole nother issue there. But so as far as if maybe they have the drugs already uh, covered and you know you, you have to wait till annual enrollment period anyways to change that drug plan so you can't do that now uh, maybe because you're changing on their uh, guarantee issue on their birthday rule um, you can you can just uh, do it that way. So here's, again, the rates for Providence are pretty competitive. Uh, if you look at the G and N rates, uh, comparably to other plans that are out there. Um, so a very viable option. These are, are great plans to use as far as your supplemental uh, uh, options. And a lot of times people don't realize that regions or Providence you can have Medicare supplement plans and they're really competitive and they're and they've got some good benefits that are unique to them. Um, and so I think you should really take a look at those if, if, you, if you come across somebody that wants a supplement. Again, remember, it's not our job to pick the plan option for the member. We don't just assume that they want Medicare Advantage. We explain Medicare supplements, we explain Medicare Advantage, and then they decide on themselves. If for themselves, a Medicare supplement plan works for them, then you can look at, at, at uh, doing one of these plans that best is suited for. The plans are all the same. G is no different from Mutual of Omaha to Regents to Providence to AARP, right? It's whatever the rate is that, that could be the lowest rate that gives them the most bang for their buck um, on that. And so I think with the low rate, the household discount, the no rate increase until they hit 69, those are some uh, advantages to uh, both of these uh, uh, policies. Okay, uh, if you don't have any questions, uh, that's it. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you being here. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for offering the training. You bet. Bye bye. Wrote a bunch of notes. <laughs> All right. Let me know if you need anything else uh, later on. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Kyle. You bet.